What is up guys, Max here. What have I learned over the past decade regarding trade management styles? What is the best way to manage your trade? It doesn't really matter what type of strategy you use, in my opinion, based on trending strategies, breakout strategies, all types of concepts. So the management styles are more or less the same and I created a top three. So in this video, you'll see the top three management styles, but also how to build them in FX Dreamer, how to automate them and use them very quickly on all your FX Dreamer creations. So if you are new to building automated trading strategies without having to code, watch this video. So with that said, let's move myself away. Right now I have this CCI range breakout strategy. And if I just pause it for a minute, what you can see is stop loss was placed here. Entry was there and we banked right here and now we are entering a new position. But if we just analyze this position, we have a one to two risk to reward and that is just very basic, right? But we want to target something, we want to manage our trades and therefore the first management style I'm gonna show you right now. So let's dive into the FX Dreamer part of it. So there we are again. If you don't know how this works, what this is, make sure you watch that previous video I just told you about. But here you have that same code. And if we now look at the buy now blocks, we can see very easily a stop loss is placed at the lowest price of the last 10 candles. If we go back to MetaTrader for a minute, here was the entry. So we have this low, this low, this low, this low, and then this low and this low and this low. This is that last low. This is that lowest low of the last 10 candles. So therefore the stop loss is placed there, right? So here you can see percentage from stop loss is target. And the target is a constant. I explained what it is in pre prior videos in that longer one, but you can also just make this 200% and then your target is 200% of your stop loss. So if you have like the stop loss of 10 pips, your target is 20 pips, right? 200% of the stop loss size. So let's add the first management style right now. To add that, we need to code and we need to know what management style we want to use. Therefore, I'm just hopping into our trading community where we teach all of this, but I have a lot of templates there, so we're gonna download one. So this is the Builders Forum, a part of our trading community, our Discord community. And here I typed in management. So in the Builders Forum, we and our students upload their creations. And here we have some management styles. So the first one, number three of my favorite management styles is the NCUA, super simple style. It is a one to three risk to reward. And when we are running two R in profits, so around this area, I want to trail my stop loss from minus one R, of course, to risk free to a break even level. So I change my stop loss from here to the open price of my trade. And then the outcome can only be a one to three R result or a break even outcome. Yeah. So let's now download this and that can, you can do that right here and let's upload it to the code I just showed you in FX Dreamer. So back in FX Dreamer, now we don't have anything here, right, regarding management. So you need to go to projects, import a project. So right here, you see the hybrid management that we just downloaded and you can see for each trade and break even point. So let's quickly open that. You can see pass and then for each trade and then I want to trail my break even um, on each trade. So, so when do I want to trail my stop loss to break even? When we are running 200% of the stop loss size so two are in profits right so let's copy this and paste it in the other project so there we go now we have pasted it in this project the only thing we need to watch out for is that our target in default is 200 so we need to change that because we want to have a one to three target and not a one to two target export it and upload it to metatrader so in metatrader you have file and then open data folder and then go to mql4 expert advisors tutorial and then drag and drop it right there. So this is on a server, so I just paste it and then we refresh it here. So let's refresh. So right now we can see we have two systems and we have to break even trailing right there. So the only thing we have to change right is that target. So from 200, no, it is 300 and one to three risk to your ward. Let's start and see how this goes. So let's wait for a breakout to the upside for this particular setup. It is exactly the same setup as watched earlier, but now the trade should be managed differently. So entry there, stop loss at these lows, same like the pr prior example, 
the target is now just further away, right? We have a one to three risk to reward here. And what we are waiting for now is to be around this level and it should trail to break even. So let's see what happens. So that took a minute, but right now we can see that the stop loss has been trailed from here to here. So the management style works and let's now dive into my second favorite management style to increase your profits. So we are now back in the management forum. We have here trailing stop loss, the turtle way. This is my second favorite management style. And this is based on the book, the turtle trading book. You might know if you have been in the trading game for a long time, this management style is very aggressive, but very good for trending markets like the yen pairs or crypto. If you build trading strategies, always test the turtle way because it's a super interesting trading strategy and it trails based on the candle ID. So the lows. So if you're running in profits, it looks back 10 candles or 15 candles or 20 candles, and then it starts trailing based on that. So we are back in FX Dreamer. What can we see here? So a lot of things. So first of all one spare bar every hour or every four hours or every day i want to manage my trades right if i enter right here every candle close i want to uh, trail my stop loss if it can be trailed based on my criteria then i have the if trades so i only want to activate this decision tree when we have a trade open if i don't have trades there's nothing to manage so why waste energy right and then for each trade, so every trade is managed uh, individually. So therefore we have the for each trade block and then the condition. So the condition is again with a constant, but you can also just make it 10. So watch back 10 candles and that low or high, I want to trail my stop loss on. That's what this means, right? So you make it in constant, like I explained in a prior long video, is constants you use to quickly adjust the settings in MetaTrader. Then the criteria is it needs to be above the open price of your currently open position. So that's just your open price. And if the candle ID is above it, so the low is in profits, if you trail it towards it, you start trailing. That's just an extra rule I have. And then modify my stops. I'm modifying it, of course, to that same candle ID. So with that said, copy paste. And one thing you see here is that constant, you cannot copy paste that. So you have to rewrite it, just memorize it for a quick minute. So there we go. We paste it right here. We can delete this or turn it off, whatever you prefer. We now have everything set to go. I just want to get rid of my target for now because it doesn't really make sense to have a target and also drill my stop loss. So no take profit for sales. We do the same thing. It's not really relevant for now, but no take profit. And there you go. So we're trailing and we're trailing on the candle ID. So you just have to type over right now, add new candle ID and I'll make it 10 as default, but we can change it in the settings, right? Same process. Of course, again, we have now uploaded it in the same folder. We refresh this. There you go. And then we should find it. There you are. And yeah, not much to do. We just go here. We're gonna trail on the 10 candle ID. So it will take a while. It needs to form 10 for our candles before we trail, but let's see how it goes. So we're about to enter the markets. We have now the entry. So the criteria of this trading cell is very easy. The candle low, like these candles, the 10th candle needs to be above this open price to start trailing. So it will take a while, but the best thing of this trading style is that if we have a strong move, it just lets uh, uh, the market go, just give it some room. And then when it starts to consolidate, you can see here, it starts to trail on these lows. So it's a very specific trailing style, but I really like this one and I use it quite often in my trading strategies. You can of course adjust like what you want regarding um, a 10 period or 15 candles or 20 candles or more to give it more room. But this is what I use. And this is that second trading style. You can see we get out of the markets earlier than if we just had no management. But in a lot of examples, this is actually quite good as well and reduces your drawdown during certain periods. So now let's go to my favorite management style. And that is the pie management style, which means that I have a target of one to five 
based on the pie strategy a strategy you can copy from us it's one of my favorite strategies and the best one of the best strategies and we have always a f one to five risk reward and we trail our stop loss and log in one r in profits when we are reaching like two r or three r running so let's quickly go to fx Dreama and build that together so let's dive into it i already copy pasted it because i did show you the process of downloading and uploading it multiple times now so just gonna paste it and what you can see is we have five blocks if trade so same story if i have a trade i want to manage it for each trade i want to manage each trade individually then pips away from open price this means i want to have the stop loss and see how much i'm running in profits like to r to trail it and then we have once per trade so i only want to trail it once right if you're running 2r and then uh, the markets are going lower again and then moves 2r again i don't want to retrail it right then it doesn't make sense and then modify my stop loss so let's dive into this we have pips away from open price and what you can see here is pips away mode percentage of current tp so this means you are floating 1R or 2R or 3R or 4R and then I want to modify later on my stop loss. So for this particular set setting, I made it again a constant so we can change it, but it is almost always 40%. So 40% of a 5R target is 2R, right? The uh, if you have a 5R target, a 50% would be 2.5R. So therefore 40% is it. What is going on here? Now that's off. So let's continue. 40% is what you need to focus at. And then modify stops is minus 100. So I want to trail my stop loss negatively. So flip it around so it is 1R in profits. This is a little bit weird, I know, but this is how it works. So just remember this if you want to take percentage of current SL, minus 100 is taking your stop loss from where you placed it, then not break even, but higher, and then you lock in that one profit, yeah? So let's go to MetaTrader, see how this works. We want to have a target, otherwise this doesn't work. So we need to go back and then have a percentage of stop loss target again. And this should be a one to five. There we go. Now I uploaded this EA version as well. Let's get myself back. And you can see Pi management is there. Same story, just refresh this. There you go. So only thing we have to change is to change the risk to reward to one to five. And then at 40%, so two R, it will trail minus 100%. So that will be uh, the overall rule. Let's see if we run two R on this particular setup. I think we did. That is what we did spot in the first example. Let's wait for it. I will just play it through for you. So let's wait for the third example. This is, like I said, my favorite way of managing my trades. Sometimes I lock in one R profits at two R, sometimes at three R, depending on the currency pair or the or crypto. It doesn't really matter what I, whatever you trade. Uh, just see what works best based on the behavior of a currency pair or an other asset, right? So we have right here the entry. Let's wait a little bit until we are around 2R. So we're nearing that 2R trail. Let's see. There you go. So now we locked in our stop loss in profits and our target is here at 192.170. Oh, that is that number right here. So what happens now is either you have uh, your stop loss hit here and you go out for profits or your target is reached for 5R. And this is the power of this strategy. It's like if you have a strong market, strong trends, you bank those large risk to rewards. You also trail pretty quickly and that really helps you reduce your drawdown. So that is why this is my favorite trading strategy or at least my management style that I really like. We have tons and tons of management styles you can implement but this video was a tutorial to just show the top three. You can test this for your manual trading, but like I always say, why trade manually, right? Uh, automated trading is as easy or easier. It's way more consistent and you can do other things, right? So thank you for watching. Make sure you check out that longer video if you want to learn how to build. You don't have to learn to code. It is all drag and drop. It is really simple. You just invest an hour in it and you can build whatever strategy you want. If you have questions, comment below, below our videos. I'm happy to help you with your building process. 
And with that said, I see you next week.